<sighs> Have you guys been spending 20 hours trying to figure out how to get ASIO to work with OBS? Well, so have I. Um, this is basically a quick tutorial on how to get that to work. It's a little strange. You're going to have to use multiple uh, drivers and possibly a piece of software. Whether or not you need it, it's up to you, FL Studio. But I'm going to walk you through the process. Uh, the first thing you're going to need is ASIO for all. Uh, the one I downloaded was from this website. Um, I'll put links in the description. Essentially, just download this file here. Uh, what it's going to do, it's going to install a driver for you. Uh, once you got that installed, you're going to want to install FL Studio, uh, the trial version, of course. Um, this is actually going to install multiple drivers for you as well. I think it also comes with ASIO for all, but I'm not sure what version it is. So the way I did it is I went directly to this website to get the ASIO for all driver. Um, you guys can let me know in the comments if this one actually works, the ones that the one that comes with FL Studio. I'm not sure if it works or not. So uh, if you want to just follow along and do it this way, uh, it'll ensure you get the best results. Once you have FL Studio installed, uh, go ahead and uninstall it if you don't need it. It will actually install the driver for you. I'll show that to you here. I'm not sure if you guys could see this, but... Um, it actually installs a driver called FL Studio. Where is it? Right here. FL Studio ASIO. So it actually installs this driver for you through ImageLine. I actually uninstalled FL Studio, so it's up to you. And then the last thing you're going to want to install is OBS ASIO. Uh, this is, I think, a project that is no longer being updated. Uh, last time it got updated was looks like nine months ago or so, but this is what's going to help you get OBS to communicate with the drivers properly. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to click on releases right here. You're going to want to go to this latest plugin, which it says it's from March 15th. I don't know if that's a year ago or if it's from March 15th, like a few months back. So uh, click on that. Scroll all the way to the bottom and you just click this installer.exe file. I'm also going to have these files saved um, in a location on my hard drive just in case for some reason they ever get removed or don't work anymore from these websites. So uh, if you guys ever need those, I might upload them to Dropbox or something like that. Uh, so once you actually install everything here, um, once you open OBS, it's actually going to ask you which ASIO driver you want to select for the driver within OBS the ASIO driver you're going to want to use is ASIO for all um, you're going to want to go into settings and when you click here um, I just set the sample rate to the same one I have for my Apollo twin um, I think Apollo twin will actually show you let me see <laughs> Yeah, so my buffer size is 256, sample rate is 48 kilohertz, same thing. Um, I'm not sure why it only allows for the 32-bit or 16-bit for the data format, but I don't think that matters too much. I just left it as default for 32. Um, active device is checked, push OK. Then to get your microphone working properly, you're going to have to actually add uh, input source. Uh, and just to let you know, when, when you go into settings here... Um, I actually have the microphone audio device disabled within audio settings. Uh, I'm not sure if that matters a whole lot. I don't think it matters too much. Uh, desktop audio device is set to my speakers from my Apollo Twin USB. But once you go into this add a device, you're going to want to select ASIO input. When you double click on that, you're going to want to select ASIO for all version 2. And then for OBS channel one, it's just going to be USB audio interface one. Um, I actually haven't messed around with any of these. I just selected one. And actually, that's how I got this uh, microphone to work properly. So I actually have a blue baby bottle mic routed through an XLR cable going into the back of my Apollo twin on the mic input one. Um, as you can see on here, it's actually working on the console as well. So it's uh, working properly. Uh, in the next video, I'll, I'll show you actually a few more tips on how to uh, 
mix this down properly to mono and get it on two separate tracks so you have better flexibility within your video editing program such as sony vegas or whatever you're using uh the last piece that i want to go through to make sure everything works so just to show you that desktop audio works properly i will um play something here so we know so we know desktop audio works um but the main thing that people don't get to work properly is Ableton or your DAW doesn't work properly. So let's open that up real quick. So the weird part about this is within Ableton or any of your DAWs, you're going to have to select the FL Studio driver in order for it to work. Um, I tried the ASIO for all and I couldn't get it to work properly, but when I switched it to FL Studio A ASIO, everything works fine along with my mic in OBS. Um, my hardware setup, I just selected 512. I mean, you could select whatever you, whatever you want. Um, I just did it because sometimes if I open up my DAW and there's a bunch of plugins running, it'll give it a little more processing power. Uh, for the input, it uh, doesn't matter. It says error input cannot be opened. It doesn't really matter because I'm using my input through a different driver anyway. Uh, the output, it's going to be whatever your speakers are uh, through your interface. Uh, after that, we can just test one of these sounds here, one of these kits. You guys should be able to hear that. And again, if I stop this and go back to like my desktop audio, it should still play as well. So that's pretty much how I got everything set up. Um, I'll go through the, all the OBS settings that I used in order to get this perfect in post-production and, and everything else. Uh, hopefully this helps you. If you have any questions, let me know. Uh, all right, thanks.